<laughs> I just wanted to thank you guys so much for coming to this coffee hour. Um, this is my dad. He's senator of the 16th district and he's running for governor. Um, we're having this coffee hour just so you can get to know who he is, what he's accomplished, and what he's planning to do as governor. So, take it away, Dad. People always ask me why I'm running for governor. I'm running for governor for the future of Hawaii. You know, I've heard as I've traveled across the state to talk to people that they want change. They believe that Hawaii is headed in the wrong direction. The current administration is really about pitting community against community um, on issue and issues. I really believe that Hawaii wants a new kind of leadership that really brings people together, finding common grounds to seek solutions that are for all of us. You know, growing up, I still remember how um, we always used to remember that we are part of the same community, that we live on an island. You know, and so when you had an issue of concern, you always talk to your neighbor to work it out. You know, this administration is really about dividing people and, and pitting them against each other. And unfortunately, that really doesn't move our state forward. You know, I've heard over and over that people believe that they're not getting good value for their government. You know, we need to change. We cannot be all things to all people. But I believe that we can only maximize the future of Hawaii when we all are committed to work together to identify what that means. We have to make tough choices. We can't be all things to all people, but we need to do it together to define the kind of Hawaii that we, we all want to believe in. An IGE administration will be open and accessible, collaborative. I've always sought people from all stakeholders on an issue to work together to find a solution. It really is about deciding what our future is together so we can make the choices that are important. I've always believed that public schools were the most important function that gov state government provides. So I focused on education. I, I really believe in empowerment of schools. Student achievement can only happen uh, when the teacher and the student in the classroom are engaged. Uh, it really is about getting the resources to the school level. Senator, as an educator myself, I understand that education is important to you. What are your plans to invest in education? I think it's twofold in that it really is about ensuring that the investment reaches the classroom. I'm very concerned because I know our department is spending billions of dollars to educate our children. It's about empowering the schools, ensuring that any plans for improvement are generated from the school and that the funds uh, are decided and spent at the school level. So it's really not about a huge investment, uh, increase in investment, but it really is changing the paradigm and ensuring that the teachers and the principals and those at closest to the students make the investments about how and where the funds should be spent. Senator, a lot of students go away to college um, on the mainland and as well there are students here that graduate from UH Manoa who um, are not able to find jobs. What are you going to do to retain jobs for future generations? It's good for students to go away to experience a, a different kind of life, but we definitely want to create opportunities for them in Hawaii. Um, Pearl Harbor and activity at Pearl Harbor is very important. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been working to expand the, the activities at the shipyard. Uh, the shipyard went from being one of the most inefficient industrial enterprises in the country to be one of the most efficient and on schedule and on time. So it's really making our young people available about the opportunities that are available in the shipyard. The other part of it really is about diversifying our economy and creating the jobs. I do believe that the University of Hawaii is a very, very important institution in our communities for diversifying our economy. One, of, one area I think is a real opportunity is Hawaii should be the international education of the Pacific. You know, we should be pursuing international students at all levels. You know, I believe that we need to grow our economy, but we need to be smart about it. You know, we need to manage growth. Uh, there's lots of concerns in our community. There's not enough housing. The cost of housing is, is more than people can afford. David, what are your plans to make Hawaii more affordable for our generation? 
Affordability is really a challenge for all of us. I really think it's about growing the economy and creating co co good quality jobs. So it gets back to that whole thing about um, economic diversification and creating that opportunity for young people to earn living wages. I do think that rail project and transit oriented development gives us an opportunity to make more housing available. We really need to do a comprehensive plan that not only focuses on Kaka'ako, but really look at all of the opportunities along the entire length of the rail project. Tourism is the industry. We need to nurture it. We need to figure out how our communities can work with the tourism authority to find solutions to manage tourism growth. Second thing is federal government and the Department of Defense. We need to be engaged with them as partners. We need to let them know that we want them here and then find the ways that we can expand their presence that are consistent with what our communities want. And third really is about economic growth and diversification. For all of my career in the legislature, I've advocated for innovation in our economy. It really is about encouraging all of you to believe that you can create a future for yourselves in Hawaii, you can get a good job, uh, and, and create the opportunities that you want to live and work and play in Hawaii. That's really what the future is about, and that's really why I'm running for governor. Sustainability is something that is really important to me. So with your experience in alternative energy as an engineer, how do you plan on making Hawaii more sustainable? It's sustainability on a couple fronts. First, we talk about sustainability in terms of food. We need to do a statewide plan on agriculture and really make a determination about how much ag we really need to produce the food and, and the staples that we eat, how much land we need to grow biofuels so we can get off of imported oil. We have a very aggressive plan about moving to alternative energies but we've been stymied by the um, regulation and by inaction by the local utility companies. So I think it's really time to make a commitment to smart grid technology to really make uh, photovoltaic <coughs> energy pervasive. I think we need to look at each island um, as a standalone entity and look for those opportunities for alternative energies uh, that um, would get to the goal of being more sustainable in long term. And if there are opportunities, for example, and we've talked a lot about cheap geothermal energy on the big island beco becoming developed and available, if that should happen in the future, then we really can talk about um, connecting an inter-island cable to share that power. But really, until we get to the point where we have that energy, I think it's foolish for us to really be pursuing that in any big way. And then really plan, plan together on the ag ag side to be sustainable. Uh, and part of that really is encouraging people to buy local. You know, we have for a number of years talked about the Department of Education leading the way. You know, we serve 50,000 lunches a day. How can we get them to be more uh, sourced from local um, farmers? Although we've talked a lot about it, there has been very, very little action taken to uh, encourage the department to buy from local farmers. So that's in the food food production area. You know, the state legislature has been at the forefront passing legislation that drives sustainability. We were the first in the country to mandate an integrated resource planning activity to make sure that the state as a whole was focused on getting off of imported oil. Unfortunately, the, the administration has dropped the ball. So it really is about getting the play, right players uh, together and, and being focused on what we should be doing in terms of sustainability. If I'm going to continue to serve uh, in the public capacity, I want to make a difference. And I, over my 28 years of, uh, at the state capitol, have really come to understand that good policy is less than half of the equation. It really is about execution. You know, I'm running for governor because I believe that we've failed in the execution portion. And really, I believe that my experience uh, as a legislator, as a husband and, and father and parent, and as an in engineer really make me uniquely qualified to tackle the challenges uh, that face our state today. And it really is about um, merging good policy with execution. I do know that um, this is a very, very important election for the state of Hawaii. I am very much concerned. I really believe that 
Uh, this will be a watershed election. It really is about the future of Hawaii, about the future that you want to see. It's about the future that I want to see. And I know that I can't do it by myself. I will need your help. You know, this campaign, my opponent will have much, much more resources and money than we have. It really is about person to person. It's reaching out, touching everybody, uh, getting them to believe in the vision and, and the mission that I bring and really joining our campaign. Um, I do believe that um, we can win this campaign if we can touch enough people and convince them that um, they need to be part of our uh, effort to change Hawaii for the better.